have been a part of this show since the very beginning. Uh, what are we seeing? You know, what are we going to see in this season? You're going to actually get to see, uh, <laughs> see things. You're going to get to get see family members, your sister, all my kids. You're going to get to open up the doors into relationship just, dynamics yeah. between family. You'll get to see. Um, us just trying to figure it out, you'll see more of a business side of us and the things that we deal with, you know, even trying to merge family and business together. And of course, us with castmates and, you know, us trying to navigate and help each other through different situations. But I think it's going to be a different feel and Mm -hmm. um, just a little different this season. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely, a, you know, a, a rough year and, you know, a lot of new things, you know, that that happened. So, it's you know, definitely, you know, a season to, to definitely capture. I mean, between the clothing, you know, the clothing stores, you know, the bar, you guys have the music. There's so many different, you know, the show, there's so many different aspects. Um, I do know, you know, you've highlighted, you know, some, you know, bumps in the road, you know, along your relationship, you know, throughout the show. But a lot of couples went through that last year. Um, you know, what bit of advice would you give to people, especially as they're coming out of it and still trying to heal from, you know, everything that they went through. The first thing I would say is, you know, it's easy to give up and just say, you know what, forget it. We're done. We're, it's over with. And the hard part is the fight. And um, I would say for everybody out there, because yeah, I think our di- divorce rates went up during COVID because <laughs> everybody was really getting to know each other. Huh? <laughs> um, but, you know, honestly, it, that's what marriage is. And that's what relationship is. It's ups and it's downs. You're going to go do go through different things. And the thing is, you know, when you go through situations, it's about, you know, if you're able to get through them, it a lot of times takes your relationship to another level, but you got to get through it first. You got to be willing to fight and you got to be willing to compromise here and there. And, um, you know, it just is what it is. It's not going to be perfect. Exactly. And you got to make time for each other, even if you have so many different business uh, ventures. Uh, Kirk, I want to go ahead and ask you, what is the kind of ideal date night when the two of you get, you know, couple hours to yourselves what's the perfect thing for you guys to both do together a great date is like starting off going to like a nice loungy type place get some good food have a couple of drinks maybe after that we may go to a game here in Atlanta you you know we the Hawks we up right now look we trying to win (laughs) so (laughs) excuse me our date nights really consist of going to like the games just went to the Davis fight, stuff like that is when we get to really unwind and and, and chill. Then hop, go home and get in the bed. There, there you go. <laughs> Save <laughs> some time for that, exactly. <laughs> I, I do want to ask, you know, because this show does focus, you know, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, uh, but we have a lot of talent here in Chicago. Um, Common, Lupe Fiasco, Chance the Rapper, DeBrat, you know, so many names here. Um, has there ever been talk as far as doing a season here uh, in Chicago? Honestly, you never know yeah. when it comes to the franchise. You know, they're not going to talk about it with us. They will make their executive decision. Yeah. But um, I wouldn't be surprised. I get a lot of friends that's in Chicago, and they be like, they always ask me, when y'all coming here? Come up here and do something. And, you know, we got Black Ink out here. Why y'all? Not? I'm like, we don't control that part. But <laughs> Chicago, you know, Chicago has a lot of lit artists, and, that's, and, and I feel like definitely probably something to come, I guess. I'm not there. I don't control that, but it's it definitely would be cool, though. Yeah. <laughs> but, maybe, but maybe one day we might have that. Uh, I want to ask about uh, Mama D. Definitely, you know, one of the biggest you know characters that we see, you know, on the show and a familiar face and someone that people love to watch. Uh, what's it like being, you know, the last ten seasons uh, having her on the show? You know what? Honestly, what people need to realize is what y'all see from her is what you get on and off camera. Okay, she is on twenty every minute. You know, like soon as she walk in the room, it's like something going on. It's whether it's the guards, the damn, the 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 palace, <laughs> you know, something. It's something with her. But, you know, we've known her for 10 plus years, 20 years, probably at this wow. point. And, you know, she's she's just always fun. She's a great woman. And we we love working with her. Now, as far as can you give me a, a tip as far as, you know, Chloe, you guys have the uh, the store pressed. Um I see on the Instagram, you're always posting all these different outfits. Uh, people are now getting out, you know, over the summer. We still have time for a hot girl summer. You know, what's the trend as far as, you know, clothing or the color or the style uh, that people should be looking forward to, you know, these next couple of months? 
Yeah, um, of course, colors right now, you know, is 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 what's in, you know, popping colors, super cute stuff. Um, honestly, let, let me tell you something that was funny. Everybody, I, I noticed on Instagram, a lot of the memes and stuff was out, like all the girls wearing wrestling outfits, talking about the tight fitted outfits, but that's what's in now. You've been in the house with your sweats on, with your big old dresses and your big house coats and big pajamas. And, you know, some of us gained a little COVID weight. We done worked it off and now it's time to show it off. So things that are fitted and sexy is what's hot right now. <laughs> that needs to be on a t-shirt. I worked it off, so I'm going to show it off. You know, I'm just letting you know that right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. It's the 10th season, July 6th. Go ahead and check it out there on VH1. Rashida Kirk, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you Have a good us. one. You too. Bye-bye.